Um, hey guys, it's Kip, and today is the 6th of, no, yes, today is the 6th of July 2015, um, and tomorrow I'll be 10 months on testosterone, um, I don't think I'll have time to make it tomorrow, but it's like 8.30 at night, and I figured I'm not going to have many more changes in the, the next 12 hours, so I'll make it now. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a pretty crazy 10 months, um, for those of you who don't remember or know, or whatever, um, I started on a really low dose for the first 5 months of tea, um, I was on like a quarter of the dose, um, and then the last 5 months I've been on 0.5 cc, um, every 2 weeks. Um, so yeah, I feel like I've noticed a lot more changes in the last five months than I did in the first five. Um, in fact, the first five months I didn't really notice any changes except for like a bit more hair growth and my face sort of changed a little bit. Um, but I don't think like the first five months my voice even really dropped. It's only been like the last five months that have started to really um, change. Uh, yeah, the, the, the last kind of month has been the most changes I've noticed so far. Um, I still don't really pass, but like occasionally I will. It's really when I speak that people will then automatically gender me as female. Um, but I mean, that it is slowly changing, so that's kind of cool. Um, I don't want to just like list all the changes that I've been going through, because I feel like there's lots of videos out there about changes. Um, I mean, if you want to know what hormones do to your body, it's, like, researchable, researchable. Um, I wanted to talk about, like, the emotional changes and, like, things I didn't expect to happen, um, on tea. And, yeah, I guess some things I did expect to happen and that haven't, like, I really thought that at 10 months I would look, like, considerably different and I would sound considerably different, but, like... I don't know, I still kind of just look like I did before, I just look like a slightly more masculine version of what I did before, like, you know, my face is filled out and my eyebrows are really filling out, and my hairline's kind of changing. Yeah, it's changing. Um, and, like, my body shape has, like, my, sorry, my hips are, like, going away, and my chest is, like, I've had top surgery, but, like, my chest is, like, starting to actually kind of bulk out my neck, all that kind of stuff, but, like, I thought, like, I had this kind of idea in my head that I would look, like, I don't know, like, a Hulk by now, or, like, I would have, like, a full beard or something, and I mean, like, I know people can grow full beards by 10 months, but, I mean, I guess that was an unrealistic <laughs> expectation, um, my dad can grow a beard, but my mom's Asian, so, I guess, having half Asian genes, I probably won't ever be, like, super hairy, um, yeah, but, like, I really did expect to be in a really different place 10 months on T physically, um, but I had no idea how dramatically different my mental state would be after 10 months. I always just assumed, I guess kind of ignorantly, though, but, like, I don't know, I just assumed that my body would change and, uh, like, my brain would stay exactly like it was, and it's, like, considerably different. I feel like my personality is fundamentally the same, like I still have the same interests and hobbies and friends and I even have the same job and like all that kind of stuff, like I'm still, you know, me, but the way that I react to things is really different, the way that I perceive things is really different, um, I was really worried that testosterone would make me angry, it actually has calmed me down a lot, um, I feel a lot more like level and stable. Um, there's been, like, peaks and troughs in this, um, when my hormone levels probably weren't quite right. There was a stage there when they were far too low, and then I increased it too much, and it was a bit too high, and I noticed that there was a lot of fluctuations then in my mood, but, like, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm a lot calmer. I just don't, I'm not as sensitive to things, um, I don't take things as personally. I've definitely grown a thicker skin whether that's from um, actual testosterone or the process of transitioning socially and some of the difficulties and the obstacles that I've had to overcome, maybe that is also 
a contributing factor into like I feel so much stronger in myself and my identity and like what I want and who I am. I don't feel the need for other people's validation as much. Um, and I didn't even realize how much I needed it before until I kind of until that decreased and I was like, oh, like I actually can be responsible for my own happiness and I'm okay with you know m my own self now and that's really great and it's a really nice place to be in. Um, I feel like in the last two months particularly my mental health has really um, leveled like I'm in a really good place mentally. Um, I do take antidepressants. I take oh god, um, it's called Cymbalta. Someone thirty milligrams of Cymbalta every day, but that's considerably less antidepressants than I was on when I started testosterone. So I've really been able to like taper a lot of them off. I no longer have to take sleeping tablets. I like just feel like yeah, my whole kind of system calm down and again like I don't know what part of that is hormones and what part of that is you know living authentically um I'm my guess is that it's like a, a really intertwined combination of both but yeah um so yeah I guess the things that I really didn't expect was this level of calm and like the way that my mental health has really improved um, but I really did expect it to be a lot further along physically, which I do get frustrated about sometimes, but I'm trying to be really patient, um, and just, like, you know, remember that I'm still a baby trans, like, I'm only 10 months on hormones, like, that's, in the grand scheme of life, that's not a long time, things, you know, will happen. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good, though. I feel really good. Life can be complicated being trans in a way that I never really realized, like lots of things that I didn't think would come up, like I'm thinking of traveling um, at the end of the year, and just like I've traveled multiple times before, um, but traveling as a trans person is really different, like my documents don't match, and is it safer for me to travel as female or male, and what countries can I not go to because of legality reasons or lack of medical treatment if I'm going to live there long term and yeah like starting I've just started a new job um and I've started that job as male which I never thought I could do um and I'm perceived in this different way and it's like a really big learning curve for me because most people in my life view me as female or know that I'm trans so to be around a new bunch of people that don't know um, is really different. I think the general assumption is that I'm gay um, and that I'm a lot younger than I am because I don't really talk to these people. Like it's really new when I kind of just go in there and like work really hard and I'm pretty quiet. Um, but I, my guess is that people, yeah, think I'm a lot younger. Um, when I do pass as male, I pass as a much, much younger person. I'm 27 this year, I'll be 27 in November, um, but if people are like, hey buddy, can I have some ID, I know that like, I know what's going on, but if they're like, hey love, how are you, come on in, I'm, you know, I'm still being read as female, so, yeah, I guess that's it really, um, it's a pretty, pretty wild journey, but, yeah, most of it's pretty awesome, so, with nine minutes, <laughs> Um, if anyone has any questions, just hit me up on Tumblr or uh, leave me a comment and yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you. Cool, alright, bye.